Hi guys! Today we have a Sephora haul for you and it is not one of the videos where I'm going to be showing how to get things for a couple of bucks. These are the higher end products but I am kind of more and more realizing how you can spend so quickly at Sephora. So instead of going like twice a week or once a week, I'm trying to only go like once or twice a month. And this weekend I went and I had a very good time and I'm going to show you my goodies. Not these goodies. Okay, so we got like a little baby guy. And then we got the bigger guy. And you know, I always feel like unworthy of my tissues because this is pretty much what I do when I get home. So now I'm thinking that when I go, I'm going to say, I'll keep a red tissue and save like a red tissue tree or something because all I do is work out. So, oh, this is the, okay. I'm not going to do my favorite stuff first because usually I do that and I'm going to practice patience in this video. <laughs> so let's get started. The first thing I got, this was in those little boxy guides, you know, when you're checking out and there's like, oh, you need this, you need this, and it's a little tiny one, you want to try it out, it's like $10, and I'm like, oh, I need that, I really do need that. So basically this was just like a $5 lotion, it is a nourishing hand cream, and it is called Hand Candy, but don't eat it because this is not real candy, it's hand candy. So basically, this is how it goes. I get my nails done a lot, and they put it in all kinds of acetone and thingies, and it dries it out. And then at my job, I'm constantly washing my hands, and hand sanitizing all about. So it get a lot of dry guys happening. And so I wanted to purchase a new Strictly Hand Cream for my bag because, I don't know, I feel like if it's hand cream on it, it's better for my hands. That make any sense? I don't know. Moving on, and let me tell you, I have jumped on the Tarte bandwagon. I always love Tarte. I just, I didn't try a whole lot of it, and I think I said this in a uh, Sephora video a couple of times ago. The last time I was at Sephora, I went there for like hours, and I brought my own applicators, and I just tried everything. I tried out everything. So, during my little trials of everything... I really, really enjoyed um, a bunch of things by Tarte, and this happens to be one of the little trio things that they do. I do have the poreless, uh, oh, sorry, I do have the poreless uh, primer for your eyeshadows, the creaseless. I was starting to run out, so that was good. That was in there. I really did love the Tarte BB cream, and then this is the Tarte mascara, and this is great. I believe this one was maybe like uh, ten or twelve dollars. But it is a very, very, very good deal, and you get all three of those goodies in there. And let's see what else I bought. Okay. Ooh, this, is, uh, this is like one of my favorite things, but uh, I'm going to show it now. I just can't wait because we're already talking about Tarte. So, this is, you guys probably know what it is. It's a very hyped on YouTube. It is the Tarte Powderful Amazonian Clay Pressed Mineral. Powder and I got the sh let's see I got the shade tan I think this is the darkest or one of the darkest shades you can have oh my god this is I'm I love mineral makeup you guys know I love bare minerals and this is a mineral makeup as well and this is what the packaging looks like if you guys have not tried the Tarte Amazonian clay pressed mineralized powder you have to try it it is so good it blends into your skin perfectly. So basically you open it up, you get a mirror, you get the little spongy doodad, which I'm probably not going to use that. And then this is what the powder looks like. And I have this on right now. And let me tell you, this blends in like perfect. It is like a matte. I'm using, I have the bronzer of theirs, but I almost use this as a bronzer too. Um, I use it kind of all over my face lightly and then I'll go and take a blush brush and then just do my cheekbones. It is matte. It is not um, shimmery. I like shimmery bronzers for kind of nighttime. I like the matte bronzers for the day. So this is a matte, uh, a matte one. And it, let me just tell you, even if you don't try your right color, because sometimes, let's face it, we're not always good at guessing our correct color. So even if you don't do that, this blends into any color perfectly. Like, I could do the light and it just blends it in. I was, I kid you not, I was talking with the girl behind me in the checkout, and we were just praising this product and how much we loved it. And we're like, yeah, it just blends in like butter and just, ooh, ooh, this is very good. Now, guys, it is kind of expensive, I know, $30 for a powder. It's kind of like, all right, well, I will pay that if it's definitely worth it. 
but it is definitely um, worth it. So if you guys can afford, or if you guys want to try a new um, pressed powder that's mineralized powder, I would check this out. And then on the side, you can just see it has like a crushed diamond in it. It has all these good minerals, and it's vitamin A and E, um, and it is cruelty free, which is always something that I like to see on my packaging because I love my little animal guys. Okay, now let's just move on to the last Tarte product. I don't know what I'm talking about. But this is the next guy that I got. Listen, am I such a sucker for these little cute packaging? Right here, sucker. But this actually turned out to be a great product. Now this was not at my last weekend Sephora. I got this maybe a week before that. And this is a bronzer and a summer's tanner, okay? So, basically, um, the, this is the Brazilian, uh, Brazilian's Tanner Rejuvena Rejuvenating Self Tanner. So, this guy is the, sorry, this guy is the self tanner, and then this is a bronzer. When I saw this, I was like, oh, a self tanner, and they're giving you uh, a free mirror. Because I was just putting it in my bag at the checkout. I didn't really read what it was. I took a self tanner, which I, I'm trying out new self tanners, trying to find out which one is um, perfect for me. And so I was like, cool, they give you a free mirror. And I was like, oh yeah, a cute compact, cool. Uh uh, this is a bronzer. And I'm just going to show you. It's in their like, original tart packaging. And yes. Okay, guys, look at this. You get a bronzer and a selfless tanner. For ten dollars, if you buy this one by itself, thirty dollars. So if if you guys still have this at your Sephora, check it out. This bronzer is like to die. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's very very light, and it just kind of gives you a sun kissed glow. So these two guys together, and you're like looking smoking hot. And it's super sun kissed, which I love the sun and I love to look tan. And you know, if, I, if a makeup makes me look a little bit more tan, thumbs up for me. Okay, now since we're on the powder train, we just grab another guy and say, What else do we get for powder and face stuff? But this is the Grind in Poreless Perfect Toothpaste Powder with a cute little baby roll down brush. And let me tell you, so I really lo was loving the Makeup Forever HD Finishing Powder. I really do love, love that. But I kind of think I have to say this might trump that. I'm loving the Too Faced Primed and Poreless, okay? This is so, it almost reminds me of my Bare Minerals Finishing Mineral Veil because when you're done, you just kind of put this all over. And sometimes, at least for me, if I put my bronzer on too heavy or my blush or whatever, this goes over and kind of blends it in and just gives me a very nice, matte, not oily color. And then you know what's great? Um, well, I'll show you the brush first because it's like too, too freaking cute. I'll tell you what else I like about it. So, this little brush, Too Faced brush, says Too Faced on it. And then it says Petite Puff on the back. And it does have this really, really cute little bow guy. So, so cute. So, basically, this opens like so. Push down, and it is so, so soft. Very, very good. Alright, now this is a great thing also about this. So, say you are out and about, you want to go in the bathroom and check your face to see if you are oily. This really doesn't have a whole lot of color in it, so if you don't have a mirror, if you're on the, you're in the car, wherever, and you don't have a mirror, you just quit. There's not really, it's not like a bright color, so you can kind of do it without a mirror, just to, you know, control any oily spots, and come on, who doesn't love cute packaging like that? Come on, I'm like such, love, love you cute packaging. So, so cute. So, that was, I definitely... I'm excited to keep using this. <clears throat> I try not to use like too much of my whole stuff. And I feel like if I don't use it, I can't really tell you how it works. The clothes, now I don't wear them first because I kind of like to give you guys the first sneak peek. But cosmetics, I, some of them I will use or I've had them before and I can buy them again. Okay, this guy totally grabbed my eye. Um, I wish I could remember how much this was. But this one just totally grabbed my eye. Basically, it is the... The Outrageous Volume Set. So what you get is you get Outrageous Volume Dramatic Volume Mascara. And you get an Outrageous Volume Dramatic... Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. You get the Outrageous Volume Dramatic Mascara. And then you get a Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. Now, I did try... And of course there's like a thousand sirens going by. Welcome to the city. But anyway. <laughs> um, this... 
the mascara that was in this, it was out, and I tried to test her, and I was like, I'm in love with you, I love you, I'm going to marry you, I'm going on a honeymoon with you, and you're just too dark. So, I want to get it out of here, but I don't like wreckaging. Wreckaging? I don't want to do any wreckaging. I don't want to wreck my box. So let's see if we can jump into this guy without doing any wreckage. Alright! We have access to the cool little two box guys. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And then this is the waterproof makeup remover. So basically you kind of give it a little shaky guy, it turns blue. So, and this is waterproof as well. So you guys know sometimes waterproof makeup is not the easiest to get off and you have to sometimes get a waterproof makeup remover, which is this guy. So it's not super huge, but I don't always wear waterproof makeup. But if I'm going to be going to the beach, I'm going to be going swimming, or I'm going to be crying, or tears of joy, these guys are good. And this, you won't be like, <laughs> so this guy, and this is a beautiful rubber bristle mascara. It gets in there, that does a lot of width and volume and length, and I very, 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 very much like it. I love it. So I'm going to put them back in our little cute packaging because that's what I do. I don't know why. I don't like to wear the box. I like them to look like me. So you're going back in there, little guys. Oh my god, we're getting, we're getting like down to it, man. How did this happen to Sven? Okay. Okay, we got some products left. Now this one. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have tried this or not, but it is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Now, I got a little baby one of these guys in a birthday gift from Sephora. They give you, like, a free little birthday gift. I got this, and I think a high beam or, um, some type of, uh, uh, brightener. But the, their real mascara is absolutely one of my most favorite mascaras right now. This is, I'm going to show you why it is so freaking cool. Okay, so basically it has the the round like ball at the top. So not only do you do like the the this part normally, the top has like a little section so you can get inside and do each and every little flash that you can perfectly define. So it has like a little ball at the end, so you can just get in there, do it this way, and get them very well. It has the rubber bristles. It's a black, black mascara. And I'm just in love with this. I'll read to the side real quick so you can get a good idea of what they're saying about it. 94% saw dramatic length and volume. 90% saw base to tip curl. And 94% saw visible lips. And 100% saw long wearing results. So this is, and I do have like a little before and after. And who doesn't look good with a nice mascara on? And this was cheap too. I think it was only like 10 or 12 bucks. And then this, I have, uh, it was kind of hard to try this in the store because I already had my makeup on. And concealer is kind of one of the things I put before all my powders and everything. So I didn't really want to put a concealer um, on top of like my bronzer and everything. That's not the stuff I go. But I did swatch it on my hand. And I did here a lot. Who did I hear this from? I think Car uh, Carly Bybell or Carly Bell. Um, Beauty Bible, whatever her name is, she's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl, she's a gorgeous, gorgeous girl, and this is what she was talking about, the fake up, it is makeup called fake up, I'm not crazy about the name, but I am crazy about the product, and what it says is treats control hydrating concealer, so what does that mean, basically, and I, oh, I got it in a medium too, so basically this is what it is, um, I'm using it for under, under eye circles, or just brightening my under eye, but this, we can get it out of here. Come on out, what are you doing in there? Okay, there we go. So this is what it says. Um, this crease control hydrating concealer with vitamin E and apple seed um, hides dark circles and diffuses fine lines for silky smooth finished look. And it kind of looks like a lipstick tube when you're looking at it for a first glance. But then you take this guy off. Alright, so this around it is the apple seed and vitamins, and then in the center is the concealer color. Now this goes, now that I hold it, I can swatch it and I won't get it all yummy. So this goes on so, so, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. 
but it just goes on so, so silky smooth. It's obviously the white part is going to get pretty dirty soon, I can tell, but I'm not sure you can see. Yeah, you can see that. It's a, it's a lighter color than I normally get because I'm doing it for under eyes, but I absolutely love this fake up. It has cute packaging and it works really, really well, and I could not be happier with Benefit. You guys did a very good job. Is that everybody? Oh, I got this as a sample at my other beauty store. But, yep, yeah, that is all of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to be filming my monkey favorites next. And I might wear the same headband, so it's the same day. I don't know the same headband. Place in a row. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will catch you guys later.